All right, so this is the new Gecko Science Smart Hub. Pretty neat um, product. I'm not sure that it does it justice by calling it a quote-unquote hub. Um, it's actually a whole lot more. So I've always been a pretty big fan of Gecko Science products. Um, you know, these, as you can see just by looking at them, um, are slightly different colors, have slightly different regulators. Um, you know, they, they, they are different um, generations of the Compaq F. They all have, let's see, uh, 8.2, 8.2, 8.1. There are some 8.3 A's and B's or D, whatever they are. Anyway, um, rock solid reliability. I've actually had a few that got so hot that uh, the solder for that little uh, capacitor there melted off and uh, reached out to SideHack who said just fire them up, they should be fine. They build things to be um, the same way as when I worked uh, as an automotive technician, lots of redundant grounds, uh, you know, cars get exposed to the elements, things rot away, it's good to have redundancies in place for anything mission critical. Um, Gecko Science builds these to last. Uh, you know, I've had some of these for three years, uh, running 24-7, overclocked, um, and they still just hash just fine. So, anyway, um, this, I think, ought to be called, uh, God, I don't know. I, I, I mean, technically, it is a hub, right? But if you see there, that is a Raspberry Pi Zero uh, whatever. So, this whole thing, actually, <clears throat> is networked. Um, as you can see there, there's an Ethernet uh, jack there. Um, I have it plugged into a FutureBit PSU, which has the two PCIe connectors for a little fan controller there. So, um, you know, it's a totally different uh, size than the other hubs. So, um, these I actually used to use as top exhaust. I bought those from 419 Mining, little 3D printed uh, shrouds. They don't have the, the, the OEM fans. Those are not to industrial 3000 RPM fans. But uh, yeah, so this is very, very cool. You know, for anybody who's not super well versed in um, uh, uh, Linux or, or doesn't feel like going through the, the bullshit with Doze, um, you know, this is quite literally plug and play. Basically, you're gonna turn it on and it's going to give you a local IP, which you just saw on the screen there, that you're going to connect to. You're going to input your pool and it is just brainless and fantastic. So for anybody who's, you know, this this is, uh, I'm actually at my family's place right now, not my own, but when I was at home and threw this on the Spartan meter, um, this is about 110 watts at about 2.8 terahash. So, I mean, that's that's pretty damn good. You know, I, I certainly running these at 450 megahertz uh, would certainly suggest cooling them, like I have. But um, basically, just want to say, side hack and uh, our friends at Gecko Science, y'all have truly outdone yourselves again in making an innovative, fun, residential friendly Bitcoin product. Uh, thank you and thank you for watching.